The Mass leads us in its mysteries up to the very gates of heaven and, at the same time, embraces the humblest duties and hardships of daily life. A quote from Eberhard. Today's question is, what are the gradual tract and sequence? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me. Jesus himself observed the Jewish custom of singing a psalm between readings from scripture. The custom was borrowed by the early church. Singing a psalm between the epistle and gospel is a welcome relief. True, the church well knows how hard it is to listen with attention for too long a time. As time went on, this psalm was called the gradual, which in Latin means step, because it was sung from the step of the pulpit. As soon as the priest finishes the gradual, the people would begin singing the Alleluia. Yes, I've heard that Pope Gregory I ordered it to be sung throughout the year. It's a very joyous song. Well, the name itself, Alleluia, is a Hebrew word meaning praise the Lord. During most of the year, the Alleluia is sung. However, now boys, tomorrow is the first Sunday of Lent, so we won't sing the Alleluia during this season. The priest will recite the tract instead. Tract comes from the Latin word tractus, meaning drawn out. It is sung straight through without a stop. At a low mass, these parts are not sung. They are said by the priest. When the Alleluia was sung, the last syllable consisted of a long series of notes. I can never remember the notes that end the Alleluia. Try making up words to fit the notes. That's how I remember them. The custom of putting words to the notes spread. Then, in the monastery of St. Gaul, a monk named Notker, Which one are you working on now, Brother Notker? The last. When this is finished, there will be words to all the Alleluia endings for the year. Thus, from the endings of the Alleluia came another entirely new part of the Mass, the sequence. They were named sequences because they were a following out, an extension of the Alleluia. During the Middle Ages, many sequences were written. At one time, there were almost a thousand. St. Thomas Aquinas was among those who composed the sequences. Sion, lift thy voice and sing. Praise thy sovereign and thy king. In 1570, when Pope Pius V revised the Missal, all but five sequences were discarded. Easter Sunday, Pentecost, Corpus Christi, Requiem Masses, and the Feast of the Seven Dolors. One verse of the sequence was sung by the priest, the other by the choir. Many scholars see in this dialogue form the beginnings of modern drama. This has been a Catholic fact from sdkason.com, the free Catholic image gallery. Until next time, God bless and stay holy.